Welcome dear friend dog lover. Thank you in advance for visiting my channel dedicated to the happiness and health of dogs. Today we are going to talk about, Siberian Husky Puppies. Siberian Huskies are super friendly and a great dog to have in the family. A word of warning though, Huskies are strong-willed. They are hard to train and can be stubborn at times. With proper training and care, however, your Husky will be a great new addition to your family and a loyal companion for years to come. Things to consider before getting a Siberian Husky. Because Huskies love to dig and chew, providing chew toys and designated digging areas is important. If you don't have a backyard or you cannot provide a digging area, taking your Husky to a place where it can dig the beach is suggested. Huskies also need a lot of exercise. Historically, they were used as sled dogs. A 30-minute walk every day or pulling the kids on a sled or a wagon are just a couple activities you can do with your Husky. Huskies require a lot of attention. They love, love. If you cannot give them enough attention, Huskies can suffer from separation anxiety and howl. If you are out of the house a lot, it is suggested you get another dog to keep the Husky company. Huskies are not typically recommended for cat owner. If you raise a husky puppy with a cat, their predatory instincts may cause them to chase or even kill your cat. Training your Siberian Husky. If you see your puppy doing something good, praise them and give them a treat. If you do not do this, the puppy will learn that it can get away with some things and become a lot harder to retrain. Huskies love games, so turning training into a game may aid in this process. It is suggested you only train in 15-minute intervals, as Huskies may grow bored of doing the same thing for extended periods. Training Huskies is difficult. If you feel like you can't do it by yourself, seek professional help. Siberian Huskies are super friendly and a great dog to have in the family. Huskies also need a lot of exercise. A 30-minute walk every day or pulling the kids on a sled or a wagon are just a couple activities you can do with your Husky. Potty Training Tips for Husky Puppies When potty training, it is best to confine your dog to a small area until they are ready. That way, it is easier to clean up any messes that may occur. Never let your puppy get away with doing its business in a spot other than the areas you designate. Right when you bring your puppy home, show them where they are allowed to go. When they do go, praise them and give them a reward. Do not let them get away with any accident they have. I know it may not seem like a big deal, but if you don't make boundaries clear, the puppy will start to prefer a certain spot over the spot you've designated. Care Tips for Siberian Husky Puppies Like any dog, your husky will need a food and water dish, a collar, a leash, an ID tag, a bed, toys, and grooming supplies. The first few months are very vital for immunizations. Another important issue is spaying or neutering. The younger the puppy is when they are spayed or neutered, the healthier they will be. Generally, the age of 6 months is acceptable for spaying or neutering. Because huskies love to chew on things, it is a good idea to keep household cleaners out of reach of your puppy. Anything you would keep away from a human baby, keep away from a puppy. When it comes to food, puppies around 6 to 10 weeks old should be fed 3 to 4 times a day. They can be fed kibble, but if you decide to change kibble, gradually change the kibble by mixing the old with the new. When the puppy reaches 12 weeks, feeding three times a day is acceptable. Under no circumstances are dogs supposed to have human food. Some human foods are poisonous to dogs and if you feed your dog scraps from the table, you are only promoting begging. Because huskies have double coats, grooming is very important. Huskies shed like crazy. When my dog shed, it was like the ground was covered in snow. When you groom your husky, keep it short but thorough. If you do that several times a week, your dog will maintain a healthy coat and shedding will be at a minimum. When grooming huskies, some people prefer using a wide tooth comb followed by a natural bristle brush. Some people fear that the comb pulls too much on the skin, so they rely mainly on a slicker brush. Huskies are naturally a clean dog. So, unless they get in a mud puddle or get extremely dirty, they only need bathing a few times a year. Bathing can be done in a bathtub or outside. I used a swimming pool to bathe my husky. Shampoo thoroughly as their coat is thick. Make sure to rinse all the shampoo out. When drying, you can either towel dry their coat or use a hair dryer. Make sure to keep them inside or sheltered from the cold until their coat is dry. After their coat is dry, make sure to brush them to remove loose hairs. 
Sometimes puppies will have a nail higher than the toe which is called the dewclaw. Most of the time, this is removed when they are newborns but if they aren't, it can dig into their skin. Take care to make sure it's trimmed. The ears on a husky make for good air circulation so cleaning the ears should be easy. Just rub a cotton swab or a damp cloth around the inner ear flap. Never stick anything in the ear canal. Teeth cleaning is important to a husky's health. Therefore, their teeth should be cleaned by a veterinarian twice a year and cleaned at home with a toothbrush and doggy toothpaste several times a week. Taking care of a Siberian Husky puppy, or any puppy for that matter, is hard work. They require a lot of care and a lot of love. Remember, start training right away to ensure good behavior and groom them several times a week to develop a soft coat. You will have many wonderful experiences with it. If you are considering getting one, I hope this article has helped make your decision. You're a wonderful person. Wow, you came to the end of this video. Can you please subscribe and activate the bell? If possible we would appreciate you giving us a like. We appreciate it from the heart. Thank you very much and God bless you.